Hey guys, it's me, Phoenix. Let's see what journey you've been on with your Lover's Journey deck. Um, let's see what we're going to talk about. I'm also going to pull from love situations. This comes in reverse. Dense baggage, hidden or untold information, shadow work. So you've been doing shadow work um, because, you know, you've been carrying on baggage and the unconventional soul comes out a free spirited outlook it says breaking traditional roles and so you've been doing that but basically the hidden and untold tr uh, information um made you feel like you know you had to change up the way you did things and so i'll go ahead and pull another card just to see yeah there's some type of hidden or untold information and so you've been doing shadow work but shadow work to me and this is just how i feel when it comes to it it's like you've been using your intuition and digging deep to try to figure out if what you feel is how it is the truth and that is where you do things unconventionally um breaking the traditional roles of you trying to feel um, a certain situation it says I will never forgive you hmm remembering precious moments uh, forget you sorry I will never forget you maybe somebody couldn't forgive um, because it, I said it that way but remembering precious precious moments grateful for the journey so whatever journey you've been on you're grateful for it now you're on a solo path or the road to home rise of a fem feminine so you're on the solo path and em path embarking on life's purpose quest it says chosen solitude. So based upon the dense baggage and you breaking free of the traditional roles, the road to home, a long term investment and in focusing on your stability and foundation. You're not focusing on love. Um, you'll never forget the memories that you and this person or you or this situation shared or what how you got to this moment of right now. But this is the rise of the feminine. It's time for you to do things for your betterment, evolving feminine and maturity and completion, feminine, male, feminine, female, whatever it is, it's the rise you're rising. Um, so close yet so far complex separation holding on but letting uh, but letting go that means a lot right there because again it's telling me that you're you'll never forget them you're holding on to the memories but based on the baggage that came around and you breaking the traditional uh, roles and becoming the free free spirit and out looking you know and, and looking out uh, for a different way and waiting for this situation to happen one day but you're holding on but you gotta let go you know it's a complex separation you're doing this for your betterment even though you might not want to do it but you understand that it's you know too much baggage coming from this situation and you're trying to you know complete something or trying to you know grow on your part and not wait on a situation so in our wildest dream the rebellious love and going against the grain so that's why this card comes out the unconventional soul which is breaking the traditional roles and free spirit out, free spirited outlook so no matter what you'll still have a place in your heart for the person that you're in separation with that's just kind of how I see that because it was a rebellious love it was a love that was exciting it was a love that was full of baggage and full of hurt and pain and full of closed off energy but you turned around and you still again so close yet so far you know that complex separation you had to do it holding on but letting go you're holding on to the memories but letting go of the person you're loving this person in the 5d that's just kind of how i see that in order for you to rise be careless is at the bottom of the deck we haven't um sorry uh we haven't pulled the the uh cards yet the tarot cards yet but it just lets me know where you are now i'm going to pull from the love situation deck to see what uh situation was here um but it shows and you know some type of rebellious love oh that reminds me of um <clears throat> i don't know the name of it i think it's called rebellious love i'm not sure sorry uh it comes out waiting yeah so at one point you were waiting for this to happen but you had to clean up uh cleaning up life making healthy choices and cutting out the negativity you're cutting out the baggage this person had a lot of baggage with them um when it came to um dealing with them and so therefore you were waiting at one point and at this uh, and then you started you decided to go on a solo path and that was the road to home to because you wanted stability you wanted a foundation and this person didn't want that their baggage caused them to to 
kind of be stagnant and not want yeah see you were looking for a home life that's the thing so you're embarking on your own journey and you're like with or without you I'm still going to make it location change changing the home and feeling feeling of home and so that is the journey that you're on is to find uh that stability and that foundation and you're focusing on it solo if you have to do that and it comes with secretly stalking so curious about you not over you and checking on your social media so in this process this is what's happening you're cleaning up because you were waiting at one point so close yet so far you're loving this person in the 5d and they want to know they're not over you and they want to know but you're like no this um, rebellious love going against the grain this has to change we're too old for this now we're not in a situation to where we um, can hold on to you know because time is passing and it says mental prison overthinking creating scenarios and thinking of you a lot so that is the secretly stalking because you are loving them in the 5d and they are trying to figure out what you got going on so you know so close yes so far they're in a mental prison because they have so much baggage that they're not willing to take to deal with and again <clears throat> excuse me in you're looking at it like a rebellious love which it is and going against the grain because you have because you waited for this person to grow and therefore the hypnotized captured by love hard to redish re redish resist slash seduce undivided attention so this person always had your undivided attention and and you were waiting you were holding on to hope not taking action and standstills and delays it was all kind of stuff because of the baggage and then you decided to clean your life up to clean it up to go on a solo path you know to find and focus on the stability which you wanted with this person look the tower moment flipped out so you had to make an ending you had to end this and love this person in the 5d and not in the 3d not waiting for them to come to you in the 3d you had to love them and hold on and not forget the memories but now they want to know what you're doing you know the tower energy says Sometimes you need to tear down the limiting structures you have built for yourself to move forward, rebuild better, stronger, and wiser. And that is what you did. You had to end this situation and therefore turn around. And even though it may have hurt, you had to do what was better for you. Even though you're captured by love, you had to recognize your strengths, that you have to do this. Strength is not always physical. Your patience, compassion, and gentle spirit is what makes you strong, not the sharpness of your words. Hold on, I got to change this light because it's too bright. But yeah, not the sharpness of, let me just cut it off. Yeah, not the sharpness of your words, you know. And so that is where you were when it came to this situation. You had to end it and, and recognize your strengths. You can do this alone. You wanted to do it with the person, but, or with the person, place, thing, or a situation. But the thing is, is that they had too much baggage that they weren't willing to deal with. Four swords energy, yeah. See, the four swords energy is rest, relaxation, and being patient. You've been patient. You waited for them to come through the door. You waited for them to be there. You were waiting this whole time holding on to hope and this person still couldn't give it to you so it could have been years um we don't have any pinnacles out here yet but if the pinnacles come yeah you were in limbo you were in hangman energy waiting for this person to change waiting for this person to realize that this you were the un unconventional soul and that you have been captured and that you know you you know the rebellious love right here you know and going against the grain is something that you were willing to do with this person and therefore with the eight of wands being in the reverse it just lets you know see you were waiting you were trying to do everything to maintain this situation and you know not move forward keeping the house clean the the eight of wands in the upright is travel movement and communication but this came out in reverse so you were cleaning up waiting looking waiting at the door you know waiting for this person to show up when they felt like it you gave them that unconventional uh thing that unconventional soul of yours and you know were okay with everything that they you were not okay but you were willing to accept the things that they were doing and wait for them because you wanted to hold on to the hope and not take action and move forward because again this coming in the upright the eight of wands energy lets me know that the travel movement and communication you kept yourself stagnant because you were hypnotized by their love captured by the love hard to resist um their love and their their seduction and you know it was undivided attention on your part but with it being in reverse the eight of wands it's uncertainty it's miscommunication and it's frustration you were frustrated when it came to it because you realized that this person 
is not changing. This person is not going to change, not necessarily change. They're not growing. They're stay, They're okay with being stagnant. And then the happy news comes with you finding out that there are things outside of this situation and you're going to go on a solo path. You found something that completed you and not depleted you. It doesn't have to be a person, place, thing, or a situation. It could be just a location that you saw a uh, you know, um, some land, you know, a, pl a destination that you saw that was peaceful to you and it kept calling your name. The universe was saying, go after it, you know, and that is where I go back to the game of life and how to play it. When it says there is a place for you to feel, which no one can feel, uh, there is a something that you could do which no one else can do this is what the universe was telling you to go on to the solo path to rise to rise whether you're male or female to rise and to find the stability on your own build that on your foundation and then guess what the happy news comes because things start to come your way when you started to love this person in the 5d you know and Forgive them, but hold on to the memories, but move forward, you know, and that is because before you were overthinking, you were in a mental prison, overthinking, creating scenarios in your head, but now they're thinking of you a lot, and they're actually trying, because they're not over you, and so the happy news is coming for you, but or the happy news could be coming. Maybe they're ready to grow and maybe t ready to communicate. So you got a text message saying that, look, I let go of the past baggage that I had and I've been talking to or dealing with or trying to complete and trying to figure it out. And that could be the news or it could be news of you moving forward when it comes to the stability and the foundation that you're trying to build. But the lover's energy shows its face. The lover's is doing what makes your heart happy. So um, or it could be love connections or union so you could be having a union with this person or somebody could be coming towards you but uh in the past you're rising so temperance yeah there is some type of balance that has come towards you and that could be the messages that's happening the balance and the six of wands energy the six of wands is victory success and good news so you could be receiving the happy news and the victory and the success because you balanced out the scales and that's what the universe wanted you to do the universe told you to heal your Yourself. And therefore, when you heal yourself, that person has no choice to heal if they can't come to you correctly and get rid of that baggage that you knew that they needed to deal with. Um, then, you know, and they weren't willing to even address that you've been waiting for so long that it comes to the point that now you're receiving the happy news because you were careless you left out and you said I'm going on this solo journey and I'm going to rise I'm going to build I'm going to um, you know I'm going to evolve I'm going to build my foundation and be stable and invest make long-term investments which you wanted to do with this person however this person didn't want to do that but they're hypnotized by you and they're realizing that what you were saying was not so bad and now their love you're loving them in the 5d and because before you were loving them in the 3d and it wasn't getting you anywhere so you removed your energy and now and the, they had to heal so hopefully this is the news that you want to hear but the happy news is coming because you have stepped out on faith and therefore whether it's this person coming back or it's new news coming for, towards you uh, whichever it is it's happy for you you're celebrating now at one point you weren't sure but when you actually meditated and balanced and realized the journey that you were on there's happy news coming your way so I'm gonna go ahead and pull from the crystal deck and then I'm gonna we're gonna let this old energy go you know I just feel like when you work on yourself and you actually send healing to everybody you know and say you know what I'm sorry this is a journey that I have to go on but I forgive you for not understanding my path my journey and my boundaries and now it's time for me to move forward but I forgive you whether they respond back or not you don't have to tell them love them in the 5d and move forward in the 3d uh, for yourself on your path and don't worry about the path that they're on you tried everything you could and therefore the journey is coming with the happy news for you because you stepped out on faith on faith you balanced everything you went on this solo path in order to build your own foundation and to be stable on your own and therefore that is you rising rising evolving and being mature and complete completing the things that you set out for and that is what the where is it at do, 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 temperance uh is you having balance so there you have it we have the shadow shattuck kite the shattuck kite shattuck kite 
Um, it's dealing with communication, understanding, and amplification. Amplification. So again, if you can communicate this or your feelings and the energy that you have, I'm pretty sure you did this several times to this person, place, thing, or situation. And if they didn't have any type of understanding on what you meant when you were communicating this, and the amplification comes up when you had to actually look at everything and understand that this person has too much baggage to really understand you. You had to deal with your throat, your heart, and your third eye chakra. But at one point, probably your third chakra was blocked and your intuition uh, was blocked. Your heart chakra was blocked. So um, therefore, it broke your heart in order to have to do this. But you tried everything you could. The affirmation says, trust my intuition to bring, to bring me clear and concise information. And that's what happened. That's where the balance came at. So let's talk about the chakras. Your throat chakras deal with your ability to communicate and express yourself and to trust trust in everything that you communicate through your expression and also your heart chakra is your ability to love to be harmonious and to forgive every individual and that's what we are focusing on and your third eye chakra is your intuition your perception and your understanding the way you perceive things the way you understand things and the way you use your intuition to manifest change and so the uh, high priestess energy is something that can only be understood through experience and you have experienced this energy you know what this person needs to heal and you couldn't do it and help them so you had to move forward and heal yourself in order for this person to heal so there you have it again I trust my intuition to bring me clear and concise information now let's let this energy go I now let go of worn out conditions of lack doubt hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness generational curses debt bad energies heartbreak bad health and addictions and remember addictions can be to a person place thing or a situation I love you guys